Hey guys, I'm sorry that my camera is just like really wonky right now, but um, yeah, I apologize for that. Um, this video is going to be a plug collection. It's one of my most requested videos. Um, I do have separate hauls um, regarding my plugs and reviews on the website, which you can check that out in um, my, I think it's in my tattoos and piercings um, playlist, something like that, but it's in my channel, so go check that out. Um, and I'm just going to show you all of the plugs from different sizes that I've been, um, and where I got them, and just, I guess, showing you guys my plugs. So, um, yeah, without any more of a further ado, let's, um, start this video. Okay, so I think I'm going to start in categories with, I've got them all lined up on the floor here, um, my smallest size that I was, and then go up to the size that I am now. Okay, so the first load of plugs that I will show you were my 16mm um, plugs. Um, and uh, I will just show you the first pair. Um, these ones are from the Plug Club. And um, Plug Club is a, I think it's a US plug distributor. And um, they're pretty cool because they have a huge range of plugs. And um, they're manufactured by lots of different plug companies. So you're not just buying one kind of brand of plug, if that makes sense. There's heaps of people that make their plugs and they get put on this website. Um, so these first ones are um, Coco Chanel like dripping plugs here. Um, and I really, really liked these ones when I was this size. They were... Um, really good. They weren't very comfortable to sleeping because of the gold metal um, rim, but um, other than that, I found they were nice. They incorporated well with outfits, and um, yeah, they were really cute. I'll also insert cl side clips of the plugs so you can see a closer look at them if you'd like. So that's these ones, and these ones are just these kind of galaxy cats. And um, they're really cute. I didn't wear these ones that much because I found they were kind of hard to incorporate with outfits. But, you know, I still wore them from time to time. These ones were really comfortable because they've got a really large double flare. So they stay in your ear nicely and they're actually really comfortable to sleep in. So, so these ones are really cute. My next ones again are from the Plug Club. And these ones were probably my favorite for about like summertime. And these ones are these um, pink crosses with the floral background. And um, again, these ones have the gold um, steel rim, so they're not very comfortable to sleep in. Um, so I never really slept in these, were just, these were just like everyday plugs. And um, they're really cute, they're just like bright, colourful, floral and summery, so I really liked these ones. And then my last plug club pair of plugs are these Bimo um, from Adventure Time plugs. And I love these ones so much. I actually wore these a lot. Um, they're just really, really cute Bimo print. The only fault that I had with um, the ones with steel is they're like a print of a picture and they're just sealed over with um, acrylic. So I found the pictures on them aren't very, I don't know, opaque. They're kind of a bit blurred. Um, but... You know, they're not too expensive, so it's kind of alright by me. And these ones are, again, like the stainless steel um, rim flare. Um, again, I didn't really sleep in these ones because they're not very comfortable, but they were great for everyday display plugs. My next bunch of 16mm plugs were um, from BMA Modified and... Um, BMA, I think, are again based in the US, um, but um, they're a very famous plug company. Um, they do a great selection of plugs, a bit more pricey than the Plug Club, but I find the quality of them is amazing. So this first pair were actually cheap. These are from like, they're not, I don't think they're manufactured by BMA, but anyway, they're um, really cheap, these ones. I think they're like $5 or something like that. Anyway, they're really cheap, or maybe $10, something like 5 to $10. And um, these ones are strawberries. They're a thick double flare. So again, they stay in your ears perfectly, really comfortable. I probably wore these the most out of all of my 16 millimeter plugs. They were just so comfortable, really cute with the strawberries and the pink. I really love these. So they do do a few kind of cheap um, ranges of plugs. So yeah, just check that out. And then my other two are from their 
normal range and it says on them BMA modified with a triangle. Um, these ones, the only thing I find disappointing about the BMA plugs are uh, the double flare isn't very big. Um, so if you're a person like me who has quite thick lobes, they don't sit in your ear very well. So I could never sleep in these because they just fall out of my ears. But they're good for everyday plugs. And these ones are um, white and they've got this kissing lip on them. I find the imagery on these plugs are perfect. They're so high quality. They're just actually a really high quality plug in general. So these ones were really cute lips. And then my next pair of BMA modified plugs um, in my 16 millimeters is um, these pink ones and they are pink um, with a black floral background and these ones really cute. Again, I wore these a lot. Again, the double flare isn't very big so they're not really good a good idea for sleeping in. But um, again, really, really cute. Um, I really enjoyed these ones. So um, after a few months of being 16 millimeters, I then went up to 20. So uh, no wait. So after being 16 millimeters for a while, I did go up. Um, my ears kind of naturally stretched, and I was at 18, but I only had one pair of just um, silicon tunnels that I that I wore, and. Um, I wasn't 18 millimeters for long, so I and I knew I was gonna go up more, so I didn't end up purchasing plugs, and I don't know where the blue tunnels are now. So I apologize for not having any 18 millimeter plugs, and don't assume that I've skipped all the way from 16 to 20 now. We're on 20, um, so I was 18 between this, and then I went to 20, and um, I'll just go on and show you guys these. So um. These are just my green um, 20 millimeter um, tunnel um, silicon tunnels, and these ones are just really comfortable to sleep in and have in your ears. I know people have a lot of controversy on whether it's a good idea to sleep in silicon, but I've never had a problem with it. My ears actually deal really good with silicon and I've never had an issue with it so for all of you that are gonna be like oh you're telling wrong facts and all that you guys can suck my dick because I know what I'm talking about um so yeah um these ones were just a great everyday plug I'm not really a green fan but they were still comfortable to sleep in and I did get these off eBay and I got them in a big pack and they were from like 10 millimeters to like 22 so um me and my friend used them um, just to put in our ears as we were stretching. So again, I still wore these from time to time. My next two pairs, I'm really sorry, but I don't know where I got them from. Um, they were from some sort of British um, plunk company and I tried to look on the internet to find it and I couldn't find the website anywhere. So if you guys know where these are from, just comment it down below so other people can see. Um, but these ones are, were pretty cheap plugs, they're not the best of quality, they're just silicon um, plugs, sorry, blanking, and um, you can undo the top and screw them on, um, which is kind of good, but they're just kind of cheap, and um, the top is like this weird kind of plastic, so it's easily scratched, but anyway, these ones are just these um, red kind of roses on there they're pretty or they're, they're like all right but they're not very high quality plugs so like these ones are pretty much nearly destroyed now so you know if I knew the website I wouldn't really recommend it and then these next ones are again pretty destroyed and they're from the same company exactly the same screw on type thing and these ones are Darth Vader um plugs and these ones are Really, really cute, just kind of simple plugs. He's like kind of a blinged out Darth Vader, if you guys can see that. Um, really cute, but again, they're not the best of quality plugs. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. And then my final pair in 20 millimeters is just a nude um, silicon pair that, again, I got off eBay. And um, this seller sells like a lot of like different colors of these kind of silicon double flares. So again, double flare. You guys can see that and it's nude so um these are pretty good like we got them me and my friend um for when we get job interviews and stuff and we have to have nude ears like you know because people do discriminate against stretch ears which is fucked me but um they're really really nice they actually look really nice in your ears too um something kind of glamorous about them actually that's not really the right word anyway i quite liked these um i did wear them a lot again these ones are really comfortable to sleep in so um yeah just really nice kind of squishy silicon plugs double flare easy to put in ears comfortable to sleep in now my final bunch is the size that i am currently and i am currently at 22 millimeters 
and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go bigger and I'm not sure if I'm going to stay but I've been 22mm for a long time now, well not like a long long time but um, probably coming up to a year and um, yeah I'm, think, I'm tossing up going bigger but maybe like in a couple of years I'm quite happy at the size I am right now. So um, the first bunch that I will show you is from BMA Modified and um, this one I can't find the other one which sucks because I really need to find it but um yeah from BMA Modified 22 millimeters and um these ones are black lace like I said I lost the other one so I'm sorry I can't show you um but these ones are stunning I find they're very glamorous um kind of like if you're going to some kind of special occasion these are suitable I'd say um yeah they're just really pretty kind of classy plugs as classy as plugs get anyway and then my next pair are these really kind of cool brutal um, smoking skulls and they say BMA on on the skulls head these ones are really cool really brutal so I'm having a really kind of gothy punk day I love to put these in my ears um, again because it's BMA the flare on these isn't um, very big so I don't sleep in these but um really cool prints on the BMA plugs I'm absolutely in love with these and then my final BMA pair of plugs are again not the BMA brand themselves I don't think but um these ones were one of the really cheap ones and these ones are these really really pretty um butterflies with a yellow double flare um these ones have a really big double flare so they're really comfortable to sleep in and um they're just they're really cute I really love these ones just really pretty um, really kind of girly dainty plugs and these ones um yeah they're just plain white acrylic I really actually love these in my ears they're probably my most worn plugs actually um I wear them all the time I've only just recently taken them out and put my silicone ones in and um yeah really good they were really cheap such good quality and they're just comfortable to sleep in do anything in and because they're so white they really stand out when they're in your ears so I really love those and the ones that are currently in my ears are just um some like lilac silicon tunnels um really comfortable to sleep in and everything um so yeah so that is it for my kind of plug collection i hope you guys enjoyed it it was um yeah pretty fun to film um so yeah if you guys have any questions um on the plug distributors or anything that i had to say just comment it down below no hate please because i constantly get people saying I'm a fucking plug expert and you don't know what you're talking about, you know, I'm not kind of recommending, I'm just saying what I personally do, so, um, you know, whatever. Um, I did recently do a tattoos and piercings video, which I will link down below, and I do have a video from a long, long time ago, which I'm thinking about doing a refilm of it for, um, my, how I stretch my ears, um, with my best friend Alana. Um, and um, I get a lot of mixed reviews on that video, um, people telling me that I didn't do it properly but I had no trouble stretching my ears so you either go and follow what I did or you just don't. <laughs> but I'll link that down below if you guys want to check that out anyway. So I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel and links to my social networking sites will be in the description bar down below. I love you guys so much.